Hey, hey, hey. Time for an out of this world story from our space. Nothing says eavesdropping like hearing your girlfriend talk smack about you. Today on our space, OP learns, at the very least, how to reconsider life choices. Cheating girlfriend of almost two years. So this weekend, I came to my girlfriend's college to visit her. The weekend was going good, and overall I had faith in her not cheating on me until that point. Up to that point, we also have had our problem in our relationship. But we've been able to communicate and get past all these humps. That morning, we got into a little argument that we weren't able to resolve. But I planned on talking with her the morning after and resolving our conflict. I thought she was different. They always are. But on the last night, I went to sleep early and heard her talking with her roommates about me. So I stayed up and listened. They spent the whole night talking about me, and her roommates were trying to convince them to drop me. They kept exclaiming, drop me out loud and clear, over and over. And if that wasn't bad, I heard her other roommate mention to her how many hoes does she have. I didn't hear what she said, because she said it quietly, but I'm sure the answer was something I didn't want to hear. The night went on, and they kept talking about me and our relationship. How this person would be a much better fit than me, and the icing on the cake to that night was the fact that she said she got drunk one night and hooked up with someone. That was the icing on the cake. That went on for two hours until I got up from my bed to put my AirPods away. Her roommate was also in the same room sleeping, and I'm not sure she heard me get up, or the roommate alerted them, but they all got super quiet, to the point where one of them said, shush. So my girlfriend came to bed soon after that last incident, and I told her I was going to get a hotel for the night. But luckily I was leaving the next morning, so it worked out for the best. It was a horrible night, I confronted her about it, and she kept trying to gaslight me and tell me that it was because I was hearing lies. I did smoke some weed earlier that night, but like, not a super crazy amount. But she's so insistent that everything I heard was lies, or the weed was making me hear things. And I told her it's cause either I was crazy and needed to get checked out, or I heard exactly what I heard and you just keep lying to me. She said that she just recommends that I stop smoking weed. I told her I just wanted her to admit it, but she wouldn't budge. She won't budge. She's sticking with her story and I can safely say after almost two years, this relationship is ending. Even the next morning, she has been trying to convince me. I keep poking holes in her story and she won't budge. Getting the truth out of her seems impossible, but I just want the truth. I asked her again, either I am crazy or you're lying. She responded with the mind is a crazy thing, not calling me crazy directly, but basically is. Keeps dodging the question. One of many questions I asked that she dodged. A part of me wants to believe her, but I know what I heard. I was listening for the whole two hours, every single thing they said very thin walls. I'm going to really miss her, but it is what it is. She wasn't the one for me because if she was, she wouldn't be in this situation right now. And now, afterwards, after a few hours have passed, all these red flags are becoming very obvious. We stopped having sex a lot less. Her phone was constantly dying. She never defended me when her friends disrespected me or us in front of my face. So I can't imagine what went on that wasn't in front of my face. And she's just always been sneaky. There was one time when we went to a hotel together and she left her phone at home to make it look like she was home so her mom wouldn't find out. I talked about that moment with her afterwards and she said that she would never do that to me. I feel like a fool for believing her now. She's also gotten caught sneaking out in high school. It's becoming much more obvious what type of person she is now. So I'm okay with how everything is ending up now. I feel like I should be much more upset but I was just more angry and in shock hearing all the things she said. Now I just keep doubting myself, thinking did I make the right decision? Or maybe I'm just actually crazy and heard the whole two hour conversation in my head. I don't know anymore. I'm just going to miss her. And now an update. So I said my final goodbye. I took some hours to recoup and told her very calmly that out of respect for this relationship we had, I would still like to be somewhat cordial since we work at a job together that's maybe a handful of times a year. And I don't want to quit because the pay is too good and it is a cool job. <laughs> so we might see each other every now and then. She responded very aggressively, of course, but then mellowed out and we had a nice talk. I don't want to get back together with her at all and I don't care about knowing the truth anymore. I heard what I heard and that's enough for me. So that will be our final talk. Part of me wants to hate her and maybe I should, but I will just chalk her down as a lesson and move on. Nothing good comes from hate and resentment. I still have to see her in a month to make our official exchange, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, I picked myself up today and forced myself to work out, so I got a 12 mile bike in today, watched a good podcast, read a chapter of one of my books, and had a good sauna session today. 
I also did some good studying for my coding school that I'm in currently. I'm ready and excited to become an individual and to put myself as the priority again. She's wasted enough of my time and I won't let her waste any more of it. I'm 21 years young and still have a whole life of experiences to live. Someone from the community says, I've always believed long distance relationships never work out in the long run. Separation makes cheating a very easy thing to do. Next morning wanted to reconcile with you, keep you because cheaters usually trade down with an affair partner. Cheaters guy is probably a habitual bedpost hot notcher and you have a much better wage earning job than she does. Leave. Don't say goodbye. Don't look back. The OP replies, yeah, it has just been real tough, especially because she was my first relationship with a girl I truly loved. But luckily, I have some good family and friends I was able to talk to and feel much better. I know it will keep hurting, but in the end, this is the right choice. She never respected me enough to at least even have my back. And now I notice this whole tower of lies she's built and it's falling apart, which makes it easier to at least try to forget her seeing how she was just playing and manipulating me this whole relationship. But I just thought she was the one. But if she was truly the one, we wouldn't be in this position. At this moment, what hurts the most is the fact that it seems she's moving on so quickly being without me. When I left the hotel, she told me that I left so quick and didn't even fight for her or want to communicate about this. It's all about communication, but I realized she is a victim's mentality. And her form of communication was just her opportunity to manipulate me. She's always been the victim and I've always fell for it. Honestly, good for you, OP. Even if she wasn't cheating on you at that point, why would you want to be with anyone who wasn't defending you to her so-called friends? And if it seems like she's moving on quickly from this, it's because she already moved on while you were together. She was halfway out the door. Like you said, you're 21 years young. You legit have your whole life ahead of you and you'll find someone who won't have to defend you to her friends. Update Aftermath so it has been a little over a year since that whole me catching her cheating happened. If you haven't read the original post explaining it in detail, it should be on my profile. But to sum it up shortly, I visited my girlfriend's college for her birthday, and I was in bed trying to go to sleep until I heard her and her roommates mentioning her and me and talking about us. Just a brutal two hours unfiltered conversation of hearing all the things she has done. So I sat there in bed listening for two hours until she got back to her room like nothing ever happened. And I left that moment to get a hotel for the night. I remember when I got up, just a shock of like, did I just imagine everything? But I didn't let myself be manipulated again. I packed my things and left. I didn't even conversate with her as I'm walking out. I get up to leave and she asks, why are you leaving? Me, you know exactly why. I heard what I needed to hear and was just trusting my own ears because I can't even trust myself. Then who could I even trust? I was aware of her manipulation and wasn't going to fall back into that trap. Fast forward a few months, we somewhat kept in contact. Yeah, pathetic, I know. Part of me was just hoping that maybe that I can change her or that she can be the person that I know she could be or thought she could be at least. So we just go on dates as friends basically. What's even more pathetic is that she continued to disrespect me multiple times and I still believed that she could maybe change. One time I went out with my friends and I saw her there. I just went over and said hi and she just kind of shrugged me off but my mood just changed completely. I was just saddened to see her there and what's even worse is that I walk in and see her dancing with someone else and she bumps into me, which made my mood even worse. But it gets worse. When I'm leaving, she offers to dance with me and I take her up on that, happily. And we were dancing fine until she told me that I still haven't apologized for that night. As pathetic as I was that night, thankfully I did not apologize and she just ran off crying to her friends. I left her right after. But I caved and texted her that night apologizing, so still ended up being even more pathetic somehow. Even more pathetic, during the Valentine's week, specifically when I was watching the Super Bowl, I ended up texting her that I missed her and don't get a response for another three days saying that she's been thinking about me too. Yeah, I know this was all very pathetic. For as good as I was doing for myself by focusing on myself, I made a fool of myself. And we continued talking on and off for a few months, but it was just different. I stopped holding my tongue and started just saying what was on my chest because I never wanted to bring up anything bad because I wanted to try to preserve the relationship, but after that, I was just done with that. I was done holding my tongue after being continually disrespected like that, so we stopped talking for a bit. Occasionally seeing each other at work every now and then, but just as co-workers really. Then I decided to just stop texting her and move on. I started talking to this girl who has been great, and we talked for a few months, and when this girl posted a picture of us on her story, my ex instantly came to my messages and started texting me. 
She texted me at first, just saying she wanted to talk about us, but I knew why she was texting me. So foolishly, I took her on her offer to talk to her in person. At this point, this girl was just a friend because I was just so scared of the relationship and just wasn't ready for one. So then I told her this, and then we continued talking, but the dynamic changed again. I didn't really see an opportunity for us, considering everything that has happened up until now and all the disrespect I took, but I decided to give it one last honest shot to see if I had changed my opinions, but to no avail. We end up arguing a lot more because I call her out on things now and it doesn't work out. So then out of respect for everything we had, I talk to her and tell her that things are just not going to work out at all between us because I want different things now. So we stop texting each other. Then soon after I start to catch feelings for this friend that I have. So then after a few months of it all, we end up making it official and start dating. And now my ex accuses me of being manipulative and even going as far as telling people that I cheated on her, which is pretty ironic. But at this point, I don't care about what she says. I'm at a point in my life where I don't think about her constantly every day and I love it. I hated feeling like that. I can't control the reactions of others, but one thing I can control is my own reaction. But overall, in the years since we broke up, I am in a much greater and healthier position. During this whole year, I was hurt a lot, yes, but instead of letting this hurt and pain consume me, I vented it out to other activities that would benefit me, like my physical fitness and my career. Because of that, I'm in the best physical shape that I have ever been in, and I'm really looking forward to my future. I'm really into data sciences and coding and have gone back to school to pursue a degree and have completed a trade school. I don't want to give this situation all the credit and say that I only did this because of the pain and to prove to her that I'm better and deserve more to be cheated and lied to, but I won't lie, that was a huge factor. But it is true, I deserve more than that, but focusing on myself has really made me happy and brought a lot of joy in my life. On the bus ride home from her college after everything, I was alone for around 10 hours, just thinking about everything, and this one older lady started talking to me. I'm not sure if she saw that I was upset or just trying to make small talk, but when she asked about how my trip was, I just started crying, as pathetic as it was. It was just still so much at the time, and we had a nice little talk. She told me about how a few years ago, she caught her husband in an affair and tracked him down at his hotel and threw the ring back at him, but the one thing she told me that really stuck with me is, now is the time to focus on yourself, and I ran with that. She was the voice I needed to hear in that time. Strange how life works sometimes. So for anyone reading this that is in a similar situation and looking for some advice, just focus on yourself. You're the only thing that can truly make yourself happy, not a partner. Now let's see what the community has to say. First up, maybe next time you'll have the self-respect to leave completely if God forbid this new relationship turns sour. Your ex didn't respect you because you didn't respect yourself. You acted like a little puppy dog every time she came calling and women don't respect that crap. Glad you're doing much better. The next one says, when you let them back after cheating, they have less respect for you and think you are spineless. Never take them back. I think you should feel like you're at a place in life where you don't need to talk to your ex and tell her how you feel or how well you're doing and just look for that acknowledgement from her. I think the fact that you're putting yourself first, hitting the gym and just doing much better in life and moving forward speaks to itself. I mean, you probably should have moved on from her and totally went no contact. But maybe there was something you had to learn in all of that. What do you think? Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. See you next time on Our Space.